Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today we have a sad day for the Path of Exile uh, community, at least for Righteous Fire players. Not everyone though, just a few of us. So uh, we just recently got the 3.23 um, uh, Affliction League Star information, whole, all the, basically all the stuff, the patch notes. And there was a, a really, honestly, I was not expecting a very big change for Righteous Fire. Now, before I get into everything, I do want to state that as of right now, there is still hope that everything is the same as before because they are introducing these new gems called like, what are they called? Transmogrified, trans, <clears throat> uh, transformed skill gems. They're basically like the old alternate quality gems and we don't have all the info for them, uh, but every skill, including Righteous Fire has one of them. And the purpose of them, transfigured, sorry, the purpose of them is to very much modify the way the skill gem is played. Now, the reason I bring this up is because they removed the base fire damage from the skill, where for a lot of people who don't know what this means, this means that when you are gearing your character into like yellow and red maps, you're going to notice a massive drop off in your, in your righteous fires damage. When you are progressing through the campaign, you're actually buffed. You're gonna you're gonna be even stronger in the campaign, but that's not really the problem. The problem is a lot of people hit a wall on like yellow maps and red maps, specifically with clear, right? The bigger problem is most newer players, when they play Path of Exile, a lot of them die, you know, with the exception of getting one shot random stuff, because you get surrounded. You get surrounded because you don't do enough damage, right? Which causes mobs to, you know, they can just basically surround your character and kill you. But with RF doing a lot less damage in higher tier maps now, this is going to be an even bigger problem. So let's just like talk about this really fast, right? So it used to do uh, a lot of base damage, right? This base damage is so important because one of the biggest factors, if you've watched any of my content, looked at the POBs, you'll notice that you scale plus the level of gems specifically plus one level of all spell skills, plus one level of fire. This is very good for a number of reasons. It scales your fire trap and your righteous fire at the same time. With them entirely removing the base damage, this leads me to believe that leveling righteous fire now is simply going to increase the AOE every four levels like before and increase the spell damage multiplier provided to your fire trap. What kind of sucks about this is that completely eliminates the dual scaling on the plus level of gems, which really, really hurts. This is why I'm really hoping that the new version is going to bring back base damage to allow us to scale with this. Because what this is doing now is, is it's making you scale maximum life and energy shield. The problem is by scaling maximum life and energy shield, you have to sacrifice something. You have to sacrifice your auras and go blood magic. You have to sacrifice damage on the tree to get higher effective life. You have to sacrifice damage through gearing in favor of unique items that allow you to go, you know, a lot higher than the typical builds with life and energy shield. The problem is when you're doing this, you're now not scaling your single target. You're scaling your righteous fire. So a lot of end game builds, not a lot, sorry, a small niche uh, amount of like righteous fire players they they do like very high investment stuff like ivory tower stacking etc those builds actually got buffed but the thing is those are not really like league start builds right so i would say my version of righteous fire definitely got a big nerf at around 40 percent uh, of the clear skill right when you're in about red maps so if we look at a little little graph here it's not really a graph actually but say so level 23 righteous fire gem so a 23 Righteous Fire is typically you vault your gem, you got lucky, it went to 21, and you have a plus one fire weapon and a plus one fire amulet. This totals to 3,679 base damage, right? Then you get an additional 1,400 if you have about 4k life because you get 35% right now uh, of Righteous Fire as additive damage. In the patch, they're removing this and doubling this, which means at this stage in the game, you would need 7,200 life or so to get about the same damage. The thing is, you can level to 100 right now and have about 5k life, and that's normal, right? So as of right now, this is definitely a big nerf to your clear with Righteous Fire, which sucks because <laughs> that's the primary reason for the build usually, right? So <clears throat> talk a little bit further about this, right? 
Uh, GGG stated each skill will have one, at most two, transfigured versions. So I'm hoping that one of the versions is going to bring back um, flat damage scaling. You know, whether it has to do with removing the spell damage multiplier, giving us flat damage, removing the life scaling, giving back the flat damage. They did say that the purpose of these skills is to have a different way to play it, right? Uh, this is just talking about the issue right now with scaling gems I was talking about. Um, this is a line that they said here, right? Some existing skills have had their stats or interactions removed from the base gem and moved to the transfigured version. This makes me think that the base damage that was removed is in fact moved over here, right? Um, more focused uh, support for pre-existing alternate playstyles, right? This talks about the damage nerf I was talking about. And then down here a little bit, we were talking about, um, if you guys are aware of Captain Lance, he does a lot of like ivory tower stat stacking, uh, you know, a little bit complex to get into, definitely on the higher budget of things. But this right now fits very well with the current, um, the current changes to Righteous Fire. Uh, I myself am a big fan of Juggernaut. I've really been playing a lot more Juggernaut recently, but this patch as of now, <clears throat> really aims more towards Inquisitor. Uh, the reason I say Inquisitor with, with my variant is this is the closest version you can stay to the, like, vanilla Righteous Fire version, which is still not vanilla, but I will explain. So, Shadow Stitch, if you guys played my Righteous Fire back in the Scourge League, we actually played this version right now. So, what this version is, is it's an Inquisitor with Shadow Stitch, Really annoying to gear because you lose res for every corrupted item you have. However, you gain maximum life and maximum energy shield. So the reason I bring, you know, attention to this is this is just making it so you corrupt your gear, you get life, you get energy shield. So instead of having to, you know, get all these new pieces of gear, you're simply capitalizing on your current gear. And as of now, there are easy ways to corrupt items. You can use bestiary to like guarantee corrupt. It doesn't brick your item, right? This also pairs very well with the setup I use a lot in SSF, um, which is getting Corrupted Soul. Uh, corrupted Soul on Inquisitor, either you would do uh, like Replica Soul Tether, uh, or you can use a, uh, I think it's a Glorious Vanity for it. Replica Soul Tether gives you a large amount of your life as extra energy shield that then will scale off of the percent energy shield, which will also gain benefit off of the life, right? And you can also see that in things like... Um, Melding, for example, I think it's over here on the tree, gain life as extra maximum energy shield. So we can utilize sources like this to probably get 12, 13, 14, 15,000 combined ES and life. That's going to be on a higher budget, but definitely reasonable compared to, uh, you know, some of these other extreme forms of things. As of right now, I want to say that RF is not really at all in the league star it was before. I think for people who really just kind of enjoy the game. Uh, somebody actually commented before, you know, if you want to play through the campaign and do like white maps and stop playing Path of Exile, that's not for me, but the build would be totally fine. In fact, it might even be buffed, but for players who are progressing into yellow maps, you know, rushing into their void stones, trying to kill their early bosses, it's going to be a lot harder to clear. So as of now, we're just going to kind of wait and hope that we get the info on the new gems so uh, you know i'm kind of sad my ssf runs are definitely going to take a hit from this if you guys don't know i'm mainly an ssf player this is why it hits me so close to home i also would like to say you know to my friends over at ggg this is a little unfair you know people have been asking for a righteous fire nerf for a while but you didn't nerf it you completely mechanically changed it you took away the base damage, you know? So I'm really hoping that one of the alt quality ones brings back the base damage, you know? We'll see. As someone in chat said, life is unfair. It's just a video game, you know? It's not like I've got a whole entire website dedicated to it, right? It's just a video game. We're just here to have fun. Um, yeah, you know, we'll move on and figure out what is going to be happening next. So anyway, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And hopefully again in the next couple of days, they'll be teasing new gems. And we'll see on, you know, moving forward from here. Catch you guys all later. And thanks for watching.